Alrighty. What's 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 poppin' pimples? How's it going? I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly turn up that ISO on this camera because it's kind of low right now. All right, there you go. You can see stuff now. What's good, everybody? Basically, gonna be building this this good old PC over here. The real question is, which motherboard do I use? Cause I I've got two different motherboards, so like I don't know which one I should use. Cause I got this one or this one. This one's like better for for gaming. It's more of a gaming motherboard. This one's more of like a workstation motherboard. This one has a couple more side ports, so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use this. I've already got the Ryzen 5 1600 in there, so I'll use that. Why not? And, um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good meme. Anyways, um, as for GPUs, I'm going to be using either a, an RX 580 or an R, R9280X. Um, probably going to use the RX 580 for now until, uh, until I need it for something else, I guess, for a PC that I'm going to sell at some point. I don't know. But, um, yeah, as for cooling, we have an Epic RGB boy or a Wraith Spirey boy. I'm not entirely sure yet which one I use. I might use the Epic RGB boy because the um, it has Epic RGB, you know. Anyway, um, going over tools and stuff. Got this bad boy. As always, you can't go wrong with an electric screwdriver thingo, and then. For other tools, you know, 100 zip ties, why not? Scissors for those zip ties. We also got a, a butt ton of screws, because this case I'm using, which I'll show you in a sec, is pretty epic, so I'll show you that after I turn on the TV, because I have a live feed of what I'm doing, so I can see if it's in focus or not, and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for parts. Uh, I guess I got... I'll go over storage and stuff. I've got 8 gigs of HyperX me uh, memory. Someone will probably crucify me for going for one stick. Trust me, I'm going to upgrade this later um, because obviously Ryzen loves dual channel. So, and also 8 gig isn't going to be enough for a VM, which will be the gaming and HD PC. And then the, um, and then yeah, there's also going to be the NAS setup. I I'm going to do all that off off stream because that would take ages and I'm probably not going to be doing the NAS yet because I've only got one one terabyte hard drive for storage which speaking of storage I've also got a um, 250 gig SSD for the boot drive so that's pretty cool and uh, yeah that's that's about it for parts then I guess I'll go for show the power supply this thing makes a weird noise so I don't know if I'm actually going to be using it or not um, I don't know, it's a, it's a Thickums power supply, it's got, it's 850 watt, 80 plus gold, pretty mint, but I hope it doesn't blow up, because noises in power supplies are bad. Anyway, um, I guess I'll clear all the stuff off the table and we can get to building. I think I'm going with the, um, Asus Prime X370, just purely because it has eight SATA ports. And it's also an Asus board. And, I don't know, I kind of like the Asus BIOS over the MSI one. This is the MSI Gaming Pro Carbon, by the way, X370. So, this one is definitely a decent board, but, like, doesn't have enough side ports, you know, for an air setup. I'm still holding this power supply in my hand for some reason. Anyways, I'm trying to get the back plate back on this. This is incredibly awkward. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm just going to leave that for now. Okay. Alright, so I also have a table down here for epicness, I don't know, anyway, um, yeah, so for GPU I'm probably going to go for the RX 580 purely because it's a newer, newer card, probably not going to be using it for anything, um, in the, in the near future, so, I don't know, R9280X, this is kind of like my G, uh, testing GPU, I use this for all like the case thermal reviews and stuff like that. So I'll probably use that at some point, maybe, when I swap this out. I'll probably chuck that in. I don't know. I'll clear all this stuff off then. Alright, alright, alright.
Fun fact, I am using a camera so I can go all the way up close to the microphone. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, um, I'll zoom it in a bit for you guys so that you can see what I'm doing a bit easier. Because, why not? Get that in focus. All right. What's what's good? What's good, everybody? I'm gonna be doing the uh, yeah. I guess so. This one is a bit dirty because I did I did get it used off a um miner. So not no not that kind of miner. Um the it, the one that can't really afford the GPU power bill. There was some weird stuff on that. That was kind of weird. Anyway, um I guess I'll shove that cooler on then. Because Epic RGB looks good. You know what I'm saying? Let me grab that thermal paste. I've got a ton of thermal paste. I have about um, a million grams of it, as you can see. So that's that's pretty good. So I'll squeeze some of that on there and we'll be good to go. Let me get some paper towels and alcohol wipes. All right, all right, all right. Clean all this crap down. It's gonna be epic, epic as. And I'm I'm aware that you can't see half my face, because uh, I have an epic TV above the the camera, which is showing me a lot of feeds. That's. I mean, if I'm being honest, this streaming setup is pretty epic. Um. Yeah, it's just it's just epic, you know. Anyways. That's been alcohol, so I'll paper towel it now. And that should be good to go. I actually, I have tested this motherboard beforehand and this CPU. Actually, I have, no, I did test the CPU. Well, the guy that I bought this off tested the CPU. So hopefully it still works. And fun fact, when I was actually um, pulling out the other CPU from this, I had the cooler on. And it had some incredibly dry thermal paste, and I kind of just like pulled it, and the C CPU came out with it. So just imagine a CPU. Yeah, it was it was it was a bit scary. And then when I tried to pry it off, it kind of flopped, and it fell, and it was really scary. Anyways, um, let's put this cooler on. It has a nice little. What what I do like about these Wraith Prism coolers is they have a nice little USB connector on there that um, you can control the RGB with rather than using a, an RGB header on the motherboard. Anyways, uh, let's chuck this on there. You guys are going to love how much thermal paste I'm going to use. It's going to be great. Can I get... Yeah, you can see that. Alrighty. Just check and chat. People typing stuff. It's, I can't do a thumbs up because I'm holding the... Okay. It's great, anyway. <laughs> Putting a ton of thermal paste on there because you know, may as well. I mean I got heaps to spare, so you know, may as well. Um Yeah. I I love and hate these coolers purely because of their super annoying latch mechanism. So that's that's a bit annoying. But you know. You get over it after you've installed like 10 of them. Anyways, let's hook that onto there. Go like that. And then you get that satisfying. Oop, that wasn't very satisfying actually, but you know, it's satisfying enough, right? It, it, got, jo it got the job done. So now we have that over there. I'm going to use the first of many zip ties today, because I love my cable management, and, uh, yeah, I will zip tie that, oh, the sleeving's coming loose on the cooler, oh, that's bad, I can't really show it to you from this distance, because reasons, uh, because the camera's all the way over there, and I'm all the way over here, so, you know, that's, that's great, isn't it, uh, alrighty, person says something in chat, so I'm going to go check that. Oh, thanks, Isaac. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Okay. 
I'm gonna plug this into the header, which is down here because it's USB, not an RGB header. RGB headers are really annoying. Actually, I'm gonna leave this until we put it in the case because, um, yeah, the case is a bit interesting, as you'll see in a sec. I'm just gonna angle the camera up a little bit too, so you can see my beautiful, beautimous face. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Um, what's good? You can see my face now. Anyway, let's put that over there. SSD is a two and a half inch, so I don't actually need to put it in the board or anything. So we're all good there. Move all these coolers out of the way. I have so many uh, Wraith coolers. It's insane. I don't know how it happened, but it just did. So I'm going to put these somewhere else. Okie dokie. So, um, what's next? That's right, we need to put the thing in the case now. That was very quick actually, I'm not gonna lie. Um, alcohol wipes, I guess I'll wipe down the table. I, I don't know what I'm doing with these, it's just, like, well that's, that's the annoying thing about alcohol wipes, you know? You, you use them once, and then, you don't use them again, and then by the time you want to use them again, they dry out, and you can't use them. So that's a bit annoying. But anyway, um, let's put this case on the table. You guys are going to see what I mean with the case. It's a bit interesting. It's, it's, it's pretty big. It, yeah, it's, it's quite big. I'm going to get it. Drink of water. Anyway. Cool. I'm going to zoom that out so you can actually see it. <laughs> Alrighty. There you go. And I'm going to move that up a bit. Huzzah. This case is insane. It can fit a ton of hard drives in it. Um, namely, nine hard drives. Because it has a bunch of hard drive bays in it and stuff. Um, yeah. It also has a, an acrylic side panel. You guys should probably know how I feel about acrylic. It's sucky, but you know. I, I actually pretty much got this case for free. With that CPU and motherboard. Because that CPU and motherboard was like 150 bucks. And between me and you, 150 bucks for that motherboard and CPU is, isn't bad. So... Let's just say this case was free, you know, just for the price to performance, you know? I don't know. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, this thing is huge. This thing is absolutely massive. I'm just thinking about what we should mount first because we have um, a ton of hard drive bays in here. So I'm not sure if I actually want to install a hard drive yet. I don't know if I want to wait until you know I have actual hard drives to put in there or if I want to wait until now. I I'm not really sure. But what's cool about this case is, I'll show you this, you ready? You ready for some epicness? It's pretty epic, not gonna lie. The whole motherboard tray comes out. So I can just install the motherboard on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Because, you know, simplicity is key. Oh, this is a big boy case. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm not sure if I have the screws for that in here. Let me just check because, yeah, I don't have the screws. So I need to use one of these bad boys. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna test the thread on this. And that's the correct thread. I got the correct thread for the things. So I'm, just, I'm just too good at this, you know? I'm just too good. 
Okay. Um, let's put this on there. Cool. And now we can screw it in. So uh, I don't know if you can see that, but ah, heck, drop the screw. All right, so with that installed, this is rocking a lot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom that in a bit so you can you know see the epic screwing action of which is currently happening. So are you ready for this? Bam! No, it's the wrong side. There we go. Check out. Check that out. Ain't that? Ain't that great? That is the benefit of using an actual camera rather than a webcam, everybody. Fun fact with the uh, webcam as well, by the way, well, not the webcam, the camera that I'm using right now, it's actually attached to a capture card that only cost me $120. And compare that to an Elgato cam link, you know, El Elgato, why does everyone say Elgato is like good in there? Literally, this capture card, right, it has an HDMI pass through it. It has an HDMI pass-through and a mic import, right? And it was only 120 bucks. And then if you look at the Elgato cam link, it just has an HDMI import. And so it's like, actually, almost worse? Like, yeah, it's pretty interesting. It, it means like, if I were to get an Elgato cam link, I wouldn't have uh, the TV above the camera showing me, like, you know, if stuff is in frame or not, so that if you, that's, that's why I'm looking up a lot, if you're wondering. Anyway, let's screw this in, because I have been babbling for a while, and these screws aren't gonna screw themselves. Uh, where the hell are, there they are. Alrighty. probably been some more chat things that have happened because uh, that I haven't applied to yet because I can't actually see them very well from here so I'm gonna fix that now sorry I keep I keep getting distracted and everything there we go I can see the chat now we're all good everybody we're all a-okay I'm actually gonna get this finally screwed in now uh, so we've done most of them. Also, I apologize if the uh, video quality is so bad that you literally cannot see anything. It's all just a mush because my internet isn't exactly the greatest or the best or even average. It's it's pretty it's pretty terrible. So I literally can't even stream above 720p without it freaking out and dying basically. So. And that's the last screw. Mm. Mm. Feel free to ask questions or whatever if you want to. It's kind of like. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where I was going to go with that, but yeah. Okay. We now have a motherboard tray with a motherboard on it. Woo! So I'm thinking there's a little tray that you can put this on, uh, put like a drive on and then it attaches, and it attaches to like the bottom or something, but I'm not really sure where that's gone. So I'm going to leave that for now and I'm going to zoom the camera back out so you can see everything again. Woo! All right, all right, all right. You now have a view of the table and my epic glass of water because, you know, it's a nice wholesome glass of water that's family friendly, you know? PC building stream, more like drinking water. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Let's get this bread. I need to move that out. 
Okie dokie. By the way, um, I don't know if, I don't think you can really clip things on YouTube. I was gonna say, if, if anything, um, absolutely hilarious happens, make sure to clip it, because, you know, clipping things is a great idea. And if you're wondering where the hell the IO shield for this is, um, the answer is I have no idea. The person that sold it to me has no idea. So nobody has no idea. Anyway, with that over, let's get this inside the case. Alright. There we go, that's in. And now we can screw in the thumb screws. Yeah. Thumb screwing. Thumb screwing. Oh, it's also, um, if you're wondering about fans, we have a 120 at the back here and then two 200 mils in the front. If you're wondering how giant this massive, the, this case is, it's, it's huge. The, yeah, you can fit a couple 200 mils in there. It's, Anyway, um, as for USB 3.0, it looks like we're only going to be able to have two of the four front ports working because this only has a single USB 3.0 port, so that's kind of sucky, but it does have a USB Type-C port, so that's good. So, um, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Let's get on to installing the power supply, I guess. Like, I've already got all the power supply cables attached to it because... You know, it's a nightmare when you can't find all the cables. This one's a pretty cool unit, because it just is. I may or may not have gotten it for free because it was making a noise and the guy didn't even want it if it was broken. So, uh, yeah. Let's install this. That's in there. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if I want to have it. I think I'll have it in taking from the bottom because there is actually a dust filter down there. So, that's probably going to be A-OK -okay with it like that. Um, yeah. Let's... Gotta love screwing in screws, because that's the most boring part of a PC build. That and cable management, but I don't find cable management boring, because I'm that kind of guy, I guess, because... You know, some people are like, screw cable management, and I'm like, what are you doing? Cable management is the best part. It's like, it's like the editing part of a video, you know? The edit is the best part. Not the best part, but like, the most important part of a video. Right? So you gotta, you gotta make sure, like, it's the same kind of thing. Not really, but like, editing a video is kind of like, doing the cable management in your PC, in terms of its importance, you know, because it's like the aesthetics, of the, I, I have no idea where I'm going with that, I'm going to move on now, um, let's route this USB cable from the cooler now, because reasons, um, so what's cool about this is we can actually just go under the motherboard tray with this, I'm thinking, is it going to reach all the way? Um, hmm. So I'm thinking I could just go... Maybe just down like, down through here or something. There's a ton of drive cages in here at the moment. I, I, I'm just... So I don't actually really know um, where I should plug things in at the moment. So I'm just going to... Hmm. See, this is the whole thing with me and cable management. I, it takes me 20 minutes to decide where to route one cable. What is... Okay, you know what, screw it. For the sake of everything. For the sake of time. And all that good stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in. Uh, yep. And that goes like that. Cool. Oh, 
That's clean enough, right? That looks clean to me. I'm good with that. You probably can't really see it that well, but you know, it looks good. You know what I can do? You ready for this? I'm gonna make you go higher. Oh, that's probably a bit better for you guys now. Let's see, you can see things. Woo! Um, what am I doing now? Probably front I/O cables is normally where I'd go next. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, there we go. We have a couple fan connectors. I'll do these first because they're small. Generally with cable management, I find it's better to go smallest to biggest because you can route all the small ones underneath the big ones and you know, it's pretty good. It's not big. Um, there's a couple fan point fan ports conveniently placed at the bottom of the motherboard. So we can just plug them straight in there and we're all good. So now eh, so many cables. Okay. So as I was speaking about as I was talking about earlier, we have a couple USB 3.0 headers on the case, um, but unfortunately we only have one port. So I'm gonna have to decide I guess I'll use this cable. Cool. And I'll plug that in. USB 3.0 is honestly the worst front panel connector. I hate it. It sucks. I was nearly going to break that cable just then because I was putting it in the wrong way. And there we go. That's in. And HD audio now. You can plug that in. And there's a whole ton of cable left over. So isn't that just great? Anyway, I'm going to rotate this around so I can actually see what connectors I'm plugging in. Because um, there's a lot of front I/O connectors. Oh my gosh, this is actually kind of heavy now. Um, that's pretty interesting. <sighs> you can see my face now. Although it's obscured by the... this. Anyway. <laughs> um, uh, okay, you know what? Before I do anything, I'm gonna zip tie down all of this stuff because it's getting in the way. So, the way I generally like to do it is group them all up. And then you can just zip tie them down. this eh. all right you can't really see any of what I'm doing here. oh you can kind of see what I'm doing I guess but um yeah that's about all the front panel connectors. So, oh wait, I completely forgot the uh, the buttons, the, the front panel, like the things that actually turn on the computer. <laughs> completely forgot those. Let's use them. Um, power switch. Reset. Um. Hard drive LED. Positive to positive and negative to negative. And honestly, I hate doing the front panel connectors. Like I can see where where NZXT like tried, where they have the um, single connector. Or like all of the front panel, but
but unfortunately every motherboard manufacturer is different so you can't just do a single connector like all the others you have to do a big loaded jumble of cables that are really annoying unfortunately so yep. honestly this is one of the coolest cases I've ever used purely because of how huge it is and because of how, I don't know, it's just got a ton of flexibility. So, like It can fit two 480 millimeter radiators on the top. And then you've got um, other radiator brackets that the hard drives are actually mounted to. Um, and you can fit in another like two 240 mil rads. So this thing is like, this would have been a dream to work in, uh, to build my water cooling setup in here. But um, I actually really do like the Silverstone RL06. It's a it's a pretty neato burrito case, if I'm being honest. Like it's it's also compact. Like this thing is wide. This thing is slightly taller than mine, and it's also twice the width. So it's huge. It's actually like the one of the biggest cases I've ever used. There was this. There was one other case that came close to this. It was the Bitphoenix Shinobi XL, I think. And that thing is huge. Like, massive in terms of height. But in width, it's like maybe slightly wider than a regular mid tower. But it's, it was like really tall. It was, it would have been like here in height. Which, it, it, that's a lot. That's a lot of height, just saying. You could fit, you could, but what was funny with it is you could only fit one 200mm fan in it and there were like 20 hard, uh, 20 disc bays and then like a bunch of hard drive bays but unfortunately well, the person I got it off only had like two of the hard drive bays so I couldn't really even make full use of it at all and it was, to be honest it was a pretty terrible case in terms of airflow as well, like the sides were completely blocked off. So, it wasn't exactly the greatest, to say the least. It was basically just a ta space taker upper that, that was like basically an enlarged mid tower with not even as much functionality as a mid tower. So, yeah, I kind of sold it. <laughs> Anyways, that's all those front panel connectors. Now I just need to kind of bundle up this spare USB 3.0 cable. And we should be all good to go. So if I just go like that, and if I just... There you go, should be able to see a little bit better now. Good then. That is all cable managed in. Now I can move on to the um, power supply cables. I think. Yeah. Is there anything else I needed? Oh! I completely forgot the RAM! How could I forget the RAM? How could I forget? Um, some people probably get triggered by me putting it in the last slot. Unfortunately, that's how it goes with Ryzen generally. You wanna chuck it in the furthest away slot because I don't know why, basically. Um, let's install the drives though because um, reasons. So this was the little drive thing that I was talking about earlier. It kind of attaches to the bottom of the motherboard tray. And then you screw your SSD onto that. And I'll move over here for the SSD screwing in. Oh, that'll go away. Uh, there. There. Anyway. Um, so, how does this... Cool. 
Looks like it just screws in normally. Yep, we're all good. You can't be too sure with this case because this thing is like balls to the walls, so it's kind of it's kind of insane. It, you, you never know what what to expect with this case. It's, it's massive. It's huge. Alrighty. I'm probably doing this the most retarded way possible. But, you know, it's great. Eh. Cool, that's in there. So now I can just do all the screws nice and easy. I ain't no Linus Tech Tips doing two screws at a time. It's all or nothing. That's how the pros do it. Anyways. Um you I'm probably gonna get a copy stripe uh, now that I've done the Wii theme tune, but hey she bro. Um that's in there. I need to grab some SATA cables which are just over here. So I can still say it stay relatively in frame while grabbing side cable. There's one side cable. Yeah, I think I'm just for now, I'm just gonna do the SSD. Because I don't want the things to screw up with the hard drive as well. Because sometimes you can get problems with that and it can be kind of annoying. So yeah. Um I'm also probably gonna be switching over to an M.2 drive in the future just purely because I'm gonna need these SATA ports for hard drives in the in the future. This one's kind of like gonna be a a bit of a um oh, it's gonna be a really long term build hopefully. Like five years in the future, probably still gonna be using this at least. So I'm gonna attempt my best not to sell it. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's that SATA cable in, and we can just plug SATA power in there as well. Cool. SATA power. It's all plugged in. Um. I think I'm putting this in the wrong way. See what I have done wrong. Eh. And then that should just go in. Alright, cool. That's in now. Basically. Eh. This thing is a pain in the ass. In the ass to turn around. Alright. Pretty much it just mounts above the where the pass plug goes. And you know what's also cool about this case? You can fit two power supplies in it. There's another port, another hole at the back here that you can stick another one there. You can put a fan or a power supply in there. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we're actually almost done with the build. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next is the good old 24 pin, which I'm just gonna thread up through here. Huzzah. 24 pit. It's great. Eh. Wow, this motherboard's flexing a bit when I'm pushing this in. Eh. Okay, that's relatively you now. I'm not really going to be doing much cable management down here, purely because, you know, it's the power supply basement. So there's not really going to be much going on down there anyways. But anyway, um, if you guys have any questions about anything, um, just post them in the chat and I can do, I don't know, a Q&A segment later on or something. So that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, Q&A guys, post your, post your comments in the chat after and I'll read them later. And I just got two more viewers and then they disappeared and now they're back again apparently. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. 
Chat, tell me what the hell's going on. <laughs> it's all going crazy. Anyways. Ow. Accidentally stabbed myself with the corner of the thing. And this CPU connector can just go around the back like that. And I can just plug it in. Cool. Not really going to be zip tying it anywhere because not much point in doing that. I'm actually just sliding it in between like the hard drive cage and then the the motherboard tray, so that's pretty cool. Gonna drink some more water. Ah, it's, it's good. Gotta love water. Anyway, that is all the cables I need aside from the PCI Express, which we will be using for our RX 580. So I'm just gonna shove that up through here. Actually, ooh, I'm thinking which side, because the cool thing about this case is you can also have the side window on either side. So I'm just trying to figure out which side I want the cable on. Because if I have the cable over here, then it's going to be in front of the fence. Actually, the, let's just install the graphics card before plugging it in. Uh, where the hell has that gone? It's over here. Graphics card. Fence bin. Anyway, uh, yep, yeah. that's all good. RX 580 for the win. Honestly, if EVGA made um, AMD cards, I would be all over them. I would just be like buying up, buying them up left, right, and center. Luckily, they have. Um, Luckily, AMD has Sapphire to make their cards because, you know, they kind of, they, they look really good. Sorry, I was just looking at, at the chat for a little bit to make, see if anyone's posted anything. But no one's posted anything. So I'm just like, hey, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just waiting, you know? I'm just waiting for those, for those chats. Am I right? Anyways. Um, that's all the things. I guess I'll put these brackets in them. Eh. Just while I'm over at the back here, you know, checking in the brackets and doing all the things. And there we go. There's another one in. And then we put another one in. I don't know why I'm singing that anymore. Alright, cool. That's all that plugged in. So now I can plug in the graphics card. Yay! Graphics card is in now. I'm going to switch sides to the other side so it's more, I don't know, it's more inviting to the audience. I, 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 I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So you can't even see my hand anymore. Anyway, um, that's about everything I actually needed to do. Except for zip tying this down to this. And that's literally the whole build pretty much done. So that's pretty cool. How long did I do that in? I didn't even know. Um, 53 minutes? I might be tripping balls there, but hey, 53 minutes for, for a build ain't bad. But anyway, if I ever get like a water cooling sponsor or something, I would love to custom water cool this PC. It would be epic. But anyway, that's probably a long way away. But... That's about it. Um, I guess I'll go test this out. And don't worry, I'm not. I'm not going yet. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna install Windows and stuff. I'm not gonna do that on stream because that's boring as. But I'm just gonna put this all in here, and we can 
put the thing over in the place and I'll move the camera around and you can see me turn it on and it's this this new studio is uh, pretty nice not not gonna lie <sighs> okay so I've actually just got to move these motherboards and things back over here because they were kind of in the way anyway Let's put that over there. And we're all good with that. And I can move you all over to here. Woo! I have a power switch over here and a CMOS battery and some stuff I haven't cleaned up yet. But it's all good. Um, now the question is, do I want to put it in, plug it in over here? No, I'm going to plug it in over the other side. <laughs> Just move these coolers out of the way. And then we should be good to go. Ooh. Try not to damage my new table, you know, because I paid 200 bucks for this table. I ain't going to break it. That would be quite annoying. I'm going to move that over there so you guys can see everything. Oh, it's, oh, the HDMI cable unplugged. So it was freaking out. Cool. Um, let's see, will the power cable reach? I'm going to move this further back. Now I'm going to get the golly. Power's on. Oh, that's a good sign. There's LEDs on the on the case there, on the motherboard. HDMI, USB, and we're good to go. I'll just show you that. Um, there, no HDMI still on there. Okay. Um, yeah, you can't really see the LEDs from this angle purely because there's a one of them there. But let's turn it on. Oh. I'll show you in a sec, but there's some good looking RGB going on over here, not gonna lie. And what's nice about this testing setup is, well with these this monitor on, is um, the cable as a USB cable. So that's pretty cool. Oh, what's up, Joseph? I don't know how long ago you put that uh, message in there, but what's up? Oh! I'm just I'm just a legend. First times, first times the charm. Let's go, um, Joseph. Post some, post a Q and A in there. I, I, I post a question in there. I'm gonna do a Q and A at the end. So let's hope that you'll be the one person to have a question in there in time for the end of the stream. Cool. We're in the BIOS now. So we've got Kingston eight gigs of RAM. We got the Ryzen 5 in there, we're all, we're all good to go. So I'm gonna go grab my chair and I'll get that Windows installation started. Um, so, oh yeah, I forgot to show off my tool bag. Check out this bad boy. Look at this tool bag. This is actually an old um, bag for like a power supply that I just converted for use for a thing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, now we've got to find out which USB ports on the front work because remember I could only plug in one of the headers. So uh, I'm going to put that in there and we're going to restart the PC by pressing the restart button. I'm going to spam that dolly button. And. Cool. Uh, let's see. Do we have the uh, boot boot option one? Yep, we're all good. Okay, let's restart. Uh, if I can find the damn button, there it is. Okay, it didn't work. Um, and we turn it back on. 
So I'm just going to get that Windows installation started. And I'll answer your question in a sec, Joseph. Alrighty. Got a lot of waiting for Windows. Oh, it's doing updates. Maybe there was already Windows on the SSD, so I'm gonna head over to the other side now, and I'm gonna answer jo Joseph's question. I mean, ask as many questions as you want, because I got all the time in the world, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so now you get to see the wall. Now you get to see my epic setup. So I'm gonna move this over here a bit. That's about, that's about good. All right, cool. What's good? What's good everybody? I'm over here now. Oh, my battery's about to die on my camera. So Alright, so the battery on my camera took the L, so I'm gonna go replace that now. I'm just using the AT2020 What's mic good? and you get to see the, the workings of the stream. It's great. <laughs> Uh, one sec. If I go like that, then there's nothing there. So, one second. the battery almost done cameras on can you guys you guys can probably see now so that's a good sign and here we go all right so all right so joseph your question is um uh let me just switch over to that no not that uh, uh, there we go. What's up? Um, you can't really see my face that well, but that's that's fine. We're all we're all good. Um, Joseph, your question is, what is the most important part about building a PC? Because you've been um, raising money for uh, to build a nice one. Um. You've done a lot of research. Yeah, so basically when I was building my first PC, it was, um, I kind of chose some pretty interesting parts. I ended up, so for reference, the, the parts in my main PC, my first PC, was an i5-7600, um, 8 gigs of RAM. It was single stick, so single channel. And the graphics card was one I pulled over from an old rig that I had pre-built and that was a, um, whatchamacallit, that was an R9 380, which was actually a pretty decent card. So some of the main things that I didn't do that great was I spent too much on my motherboard and too little on my um, other components like, you know, RAM and my and I didn't even have an, have an SSD. So if you're, um, if you're choosing, yeah, if you're building your, if you're building your PC like relatively soon, I would honestly wait until coronavirus is over because SSD prices are up at basically every price is up at the moment. There's a ton of launches around the corner. Um, so, oh, I'm just reading your question again because I think I went off track there. Most important about it is don't overspend on things and don't underspend on things. There's a bit of a balance there because you can underspend on your power supply, it'll blow up and blow up your entire system and you'll um, lose money. And... Oh, yeah, Methan, it's, it's live. Yes, this, this is live. Okay, sorry, I got 
interrupted. That I'm, I get distracted very easily, as you can probably tell. Going back to the question, um, yeah, power supply, don't underspend on it. Don't overspend on your motherboard. The motherboard, its m sole purpose is to hold all your components. No, that's your case. Its sole purpose is to basically just make your components work. So if I were you, I would honestly just, mm. but it actually depends. What's your, what's your budget? That's, that's a tricky uh, situation because if your budget is high, then obviously go like all out if you want to, but don't go all out in the way that you spend more on your motherboard than your core components like your RAM your motherboard or your CPU. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Just don't, don't overspend and don't underspend. Put most of your money into your CPU and graphics card and maybe motherboard. Really, for cases, you can go with anything. It's all it does. It holds your, holds your case, uh, holds your, components so don't go for anything that's like about a hundred bucks so you're going f you've just messaged in the chat okay i will do i think i found a good deal on a dual channel motherboard and two eight gigabyte ram and a nvidia two eight hundred ti you mean uh 2080 ti i'm guessing um yeah if you're going that high end then then yeah sure um Generally, yeah, if, if the motherboard's got four slots, you're all good there. Um, ah, for the CPU. So what, what, uh, what motherboard is it? Is what's the socket? And just while I'm waiting for you to respond there, uh, what is the better C, what is the better CPU encoding or GPU encoding? So CPU encoding, you're generally going to get, um, a higher quality. But GPU encoding, it takes a lot less load off your system. If you have a second system, I would recommend uh, for streaming, if you have a second system, I'd recommend getting a CPU and encoding with your CPU. So spend most of your budget on the CPU rather than your graphics card, just have a graphics card to display. Um, if you're spending um, a lot on your CPU, then yeah, go. Yeah, if your budget's high enough, I would go for at least a 6-core CPU if you want to encode on your CPU. Um, you can go with an 8-core. And, um, yeah, 8-cores are generally going to get you the best result uh, in terms of CPU encoding. But also good single-core uh, good single core ones, so like one with um, high clocks. So not necessarily Intel. You can go with something like a 3700X or a Ryzen 5 3600. That's generally a good uh good platform a good base for a streaming pc um and going back to joseph uh you've got an msi motherboard what's it what's the socket is it intel amd like what's is it am4 lg lg 1151 and uh yeah basically i'm gonna just um only one pc ryzen 5 uh, 16, uh 2600 hmm so generally, if you've got a Ryzen 5 2600 running the entire operation, I would encode on your GPU, straight up. But mainly, if you're running an AMD graphics card, maybe not, because AMD graphics cards don't typically have the best encoding. So if you went for something like a, I don't know, a GTX, I think 1660 Super, they've got the new encoder on it, so you can do pretty well with those. Ah, uh, it's an Intel build. Okay, so Joseph, is it a Z370? What's, it, is, is there much details on it? Um, oh, thanks for the sub, by the way, Joseph. Appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna get, sorry, that thank you was very delayed. I didn't have the actual stream up on my thing. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, six core, 12 thread. That's enough if you're gaming. If you wanna stream off it as well, don't go with um, CPU encoding. Just encode on your graphics card. And Joseph, your... Um, okay, so yeah, your motherboard is Intel. So best CPU for that, I reckon maybe if you got like a, a used i7 8700K, 
maybe it's not the best value. I would typically go for one that's like only like same price as a Ryzen 5 3600. So maybe go for something that's maybe like a 9700 KF. They can be had pretty cheap. Um, thanks Rocky for that, for that great, um, yep, <laughs> that was just to break the tension, sure, alright, um, so, the, yeah, motherboard, yeah, you should be fine with that motherboard, just go with something that, oh yeah, cheers Mithium, um, so, Yeah. Sorry if my responses are a lot de uh, are a bit delayed because um, there is a bit of a delay on on the stream because of how terrible how terrible my internet is at the moment. But uh, yeah. So I, <laughs> I'm just getting everyone's replies to my questions now. So that's amazing. All right. So Joseph, you found a. Good i7 for seventy dollars, brand eBay brand new. Seventy dollars. <laughs> yeah, the one dollar donation is great. Um, when you say seventy dollars, Joseph, do you mean like was it, what like what specific CPU is it? Like if it's an i7, it could be like I don't know. Three thousand series, like third generation, fourth generation, sixth generation, seventh generation, eighth generation, which. What's the... what's going on there? Um, I can also switch to my better microphone. One second. If I go like that. How's that? Nothing happened. You saw absolute... Oh. oh. Okay. You saw nothing. Nothing happened then. Nothing happened. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Rocky, I think you should probably, should probably, uh, stop, stop <laughs> posting. Uh, just, just stop, Rocky, just stop. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know where the stream is. Yeah, um, I'm going to quickly change something so that I can go back onto my other mic because reasons, um, if I go like that, go like that, go like, um, go like that, and then, sorry for the echoey stuff happening. Okay, so now I'm on my better mic now. So, um, my PC has a Ryzen 7... 3700X and a GTX 980 Ti. Um, I did the upgrade. I did a video on the upgrade, actually. It's a cool montage thing. Um, I can post the link to that in chat. Just one second. Bear with me. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good upgrade. The Ryzen 7 3700X is an absolute beast of a CPU. And it's, it's, it's honestly like the best value kind of eight core. Cause it's pretty much a 9,700 K or 9,900 K, but like cheaper. So it's pretty good if I'm being honest. Um, yeah. And then the 980 Ti, I've actually, I've, I've got that water cooled in my PC. The reason I didn't upgrade it is, or haven't upgraded it yet is purely because I play 1440p but on really, like, easy-to-run titles, like, you know, Rainbow Six Siege, um, stuff like that, and you've just sent me, um, oh, geez, the i7-970, no, that's terrible, don't buy that for 70 bucks, I would, that's, that's a pretty bad CPU, for that same price, you can get some old Xeons, I actually have a video on the, uh, Xeons that you can get on that platform, because if it's an LGA thirteen sixty six, that's a, it's pretty terrible. I wouldn't, I would not go for that. <laughs> um, X fifty eight, while it was a really good um, platform, it's not the best to go for today because the motherboards are super expensive. And I think this is the video. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find the links to this stuff. There you go. 
because basically with those x58 cpus the i797 like uh, 970 the ones with the three numbers i7s with three numbers after like the i7 is yeah 70 dollars usd is pretty terrible for for that um mythium when myth oh i've been pr mispronouncing your name myth mythin yeah mythin do you build a pc now what do you what do you mean by that really what do you what do you, what do you mean by do you build a pc now because i already built the pc if you're wondering Alrighty. Yeah, generally the best value kind of um, system I would go for now is probably something to do with a... Um, Uh, when you say the motherboard is not compatible. Uh, yeah, that motherboard is definitely not compatible. That, um, the chip, that, the i7-970 is a first generation Intel CPU. So it's over a decade old now. So that is definitely not going to work in a um, in a LGA eleven fifty one. Was it? Let me just go back through. Yeah. So generally, with motherboards, you have a bunch of different sockets. Um, if it supports. Yeah. So the, the LGA LGA thirteen sixty six is a decade old. Don't go for that platform. The newest Intel stuff is LGA eleven fifty one. And the motherboard will have a 200 or 300 series uh, chipset. Yeah, yeah. So Myth and already, yeah, I already built the PC. It's over, it's over there doing Windows things. But um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. For your motherboard, um. I, I really can't tell you anything until you tell me the socket, like is it LGA 1151 and then what's, just if you just send me the full name of the motherboard I can tell you what kind of CPUs you can throw in there. Because it sounds like it's an 1151 if it supports a Core i9, but it realistically could be any number of motherboards. And I'll be back in a second to just show you some epic motherboards. And actually, I won't do that because I'm too lazy to get up. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Cool. Gotta love this delay on this stream because I'm still waiting for replies and things. Alrighty. So yeah, generally, um, yeah, with your motherboard, you're gonna have a bunch of different sockets on it, and and stuff. I don't know where I started speaking from. Um. Yeah, generally, AM AM four stuff is generally good, like the uh, Ryzen Ryzen CPUs. If you're building a new system from scratch, if you're not going used, Ryzen is definitely way, the way to go. Intel right now has pretty bad value stuff the only thing that's really good in their lineup is the 9900 kf because it's 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 slightly faster than like a um slightly faster than a 3700x or a 3900x or something but it's also like more expensive so it's not really the greatest so joseph if you could find if you could get um just the 2080 ti um and the ram 
that would probably be a good idea basically oh, okay so it's b360 yeah so i would yeah you can go with basically any intel cpu um right now i would kind of wait though because coronavirus is making prices go up a ton uh what region are you in as well by the way because if you're in um like america you'd probably be okay or if you're in china you might be okay i, I don't know what country you're in. um or if you're in australia i don't know um cool so i don't know why i picked that up um the yeah the b360 1151 you'll be fine with any ninth gen or eighth gen um i5 i7s or i9s don't go for i3s at all they're just terrible really bad value don't go the, don't go for them um oh you're in the us okay cool um so yeah in the us you'd probably be fine with pc parts go for something like a 90 9600 since that motherboard is an overclockable, you kind of it, it would be a waste to spend extra money on something that's got a K on the end because that would mean it's overclockable. But it, since it's in a non-overclockable motherboard, you can't actually overclock it. And for some reason, this just started playing a video. Okay, so um, yeah, something like the i5 8400, 8400F or 9400F, that's probably the best CPU you can get for that motherboard. Um, in terms of like what it'd be able to handle. So, uh, yeah. Just waiting for those questions to roll in. I'm going to stick my headphones on now so that I can hear things. Alrighty. So yeah, I think that's about the end of the stream. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, feel free to drop me a like. If And I've noticed that uh, Mithin and Joseph, you've already subscribed. Thank you very much for that. A re mucho appreciation for that. Because, you know, um, watching the streams and liking the videos actually does definitely help in terms of getting videos, you know, up in terms of, I don't know, recommendations and stuff. So, thank you. <laughs> So, yeah, that PC is all up and running. That went well. Um, I guess I'll just talk about a conclusion for that PC, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, it was a good PC. Probably going to use it for a NAS setup. Um, gaming, maybe virtual reality once I get a VR headset. And, yeah, it's also going to be used as a home media PC because I'm going to sh quickly show you what I've been watching stuff on this entire time. And I just realized I'm far away from the mic. One sec. Okay, so, uh, if I disembark this from here, probably can't hear me that well, but there is a TV up here, and you can see uh, it's going super trippy because it's seeing itself, but anyway, yeah, that's about it, PC's over there, it's, it's, it's all good, it's, it's, all, it's all working absolutely a-okay, so, um, yeah, that's about it for that. Guess I'll see you guys in the next video or something. So have a good one. Stay safe with coronavirus. You know, wash your hands. Oh yeah, fun fact. Um, I was actually going to have people over for this, but they couldn't come because I was going to get fined 1300 Australian dollars for um, breaking the law. So I, I would not want to do that. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.